What are you talking about? My name is Bret Hart. I am the coolest wrestler of all time to ever wear pink in a squared circle. Not today. Hola amigos, it's Will here at Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with a big bad breakdown of the one, the only, the legendary Wildfire Tommy Rich. So please guys sit back and relax while I took you through why and how I made this figure and everything else in between. So firstly, why do we want a Tommy Rich in the collection? It should hopefully speak for itself. For any of you wrestling fans out there, Wildfire Tommy Rich is currently 67. He's from America and he was a former NWA heavyweight champion. Oh my God, this guy has been a badass in his day. And uh, still alive, still well. He's got three daughters, I think six grandkids. And um, he's wrestled, I think, the majority of his career from at least the stuff that I've watched on YouTube. Um, as the NWA, Memphis, Georgia, WCW, places like Smoky Mountain. And here is an interesting fact for anybody that doesn't already know. He actually wrestled in ECW as well towards the latter part of his career. This guy has been everywhere and definitely deserves to be immortalised in figure form. So, how did I make him? Say cheese! Cheese! There has never been a more cheese face for a school photo than this one. Thank you, Tommy Rich. Um, so, how did I make this guy? Well, hopefully, as you can tell, this is actually a Hulk Hogan body that I have adjusted. I've changed the, fi uh, changed the hands and put fists on there. Those fists were actually from... Uh, you got to see if you can guess whose fists they were, actually. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, Hello. <laughs> I'll leave him there for a size comparison in a minute. But I stole these fists, I'm 99% sure, from a butch figure um, from the Hasbro line. As you can see, this is a 3D sculpted head. Absolutely phenomenally sculpted. And uh, if you are interested in any of these heads, then give me a shout on my Facebook, my Instagram, or here on my YouTube. It's a very, very detailed head sculpt. I'm really impressed with the um, original creator of this because it's so detailed and the expressions, everything about Tommy Rich is captured just in this one little head sculpt. Now, as you can see, there's an awful lot of clay that I've put on here. The good news with doing clothing is it doesn't need to be perfect because clothes are never going to be perfect. So you can see lots of little, um, I guess, folds and, um, you know, creases and things in the sleeves. So really nice addition and covers up where I've had to glue the hands on. I've put a nice little seam around there. You can see that there's a straight seam going around both of the wrists, which adds to it. And this is all 3D as well, guys. I've not just painted this on. It's all red and sparkly up to there. And then it's a new line of clay. And uh, there's a, another indent you can probably see from where I've uh, attached the head on, moulded the clay down, and then added a, an extra layer so we can get the... Um, uh, get the get the uh, what's the word I'm looking for the collar I kind of spit the word collar out. It's been a long day at work today, um, but yeah, I really like how this has turned out. The lower half is just a repaint, as you can tell. Added the T and added the R uh, onto the boots there, and a nice matte black for the pants. I've done that using all Vallejo paints, guys, and of course. There can only be one flesh colour for a wrestler like this, and it is using the Citadel flesh colour. But yeah, look at that. I've then went over it with my Mrs. Glitter from her um, from her nail varnish collection, and I'm really pleased with the final look. I think it captures it catches all the glitz, all the glam that Tommy Rich had in his back in his heyday in his wrestling career. And really, I just wanted to spotlight another fantastic wrestler that hasn't had his own Hasbro figure or hasn't had his own wrestling figure. We see all these legends and all these people put out time and time again in metal, retro form and, and so forth. But very rarely do you get someone as cool as a Tommy Rich that you can buy in a Smith's toy store or previously like a Toys R Us or somewhere like that. Uh, you can see this Bret Hart is absolutely destroyed and um, I will be customising this soon and uh, stay tuned for that guys. I'm going to bring in um, a bit of a legend here on Will's Custom Figures and probably my favourite all time Hasbro. Here's the Sergeant, Sergeant Slaughter. Don't mess with me maggots. And then just to bring in another figure that I've recently made, if you haven't seen it already, a, follow, a fellow golden era wrestler. Here is the warlord. Man, for me, the glory is the golden era of professional wrestling was 
you know, that sort of period between the 80s and 90s. And um, yeah, I think that Tommy Rich, for everything that he's contributed to the wrestling world at 67, he deserves to be immortalised. And hopefully you guys feel like this figure has done him some justice. So please, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below if you've liked this video. And thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And from myself and from, you know, all the hours and hours that I put into these custom figures, if you do enjoy this, please like, comment, subscribe on Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube. And that's it from me. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I really, really hope you've enjoyed this from myself, from the one and only World Far, Tommy Rich. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios! This is normally where I say adios, but I thought I would just show you guys a little bit from a few different angles. Really, really happy with how these guys look on the display. And I hope you guys are too. Adios.